Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to carry out a combustion leak test which is typically used when you're checking for a leaking head gasket, blown head gasket or a cracked cylinder head, something like that. Okay, step one. The head gasket tester tests the vapors coming off of your coolant. It doesn't test the coolant itself. So in a minute, later on in the test, we're going to be pumping and sucking vapor out of this tank. We don't want to suck up any coolant because that will ruin the test. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that there's enough headspace in this tank for the tool, which I'll introduce properly in a minute, to go down into it without any danger of sucking up coolant. As you can see, my coolant's about halfway down on the tank. That means we're good to go. But let's say the coolant level was really high. Well, what you need to do is draw off some of that coolant. So typically I would use a little hand pump like this. Just take the cap off and draw a bit out. Okay, so next, in order for this test to be performed properly, the engine has to be up to temperature and the thermostat has to be open. Now, I don't want to remove this cap later when the engine's really hot because obviously steam and boiling water can come out. So I'm going to remove the cap now. Now, if you've been driving recently, make sure you're really careful how you do this. And now I'm going to run the car to start getting it up to temperature. And if you're wondering how to tell when your car is up to temperature, well, a lot of them literally will have a water temperature gauge. Mine doesn't. But the other way you can check is when your cooling fans kick in because your engine's either up to temperature or a little bit too warm and then your fan kicks in to try to cool it down again. So that's a good indication as well. So while the engine's getting up to temperature, let's prepare our combustion leak tester. First thing I'm gonna do is push this in nice and firm and it should seal the top of your expansion tank or the top of your radiator. Now you have to check that your fluid looks blue. If it looks yellow, then it means it's gone off and it's no good. But as you can see, this is blue, so that means we're ready to go. And what we need to do is just fill up the fluid to that line there. So I'm just gonna pour it in. Okay, and then the final part to the leak tester is this little bulb or uh, pump. Now you'll note that there's a little silver non-return valve thing at the top. And then that's just a rubber section that seals nicely into the top of the leak tester. So we're just gonna wiggle that a little bit and squeeze it down into place. And the next step is to squeeze this bulb, which effectively draws air from the expansion tank through the fluid and out uh, for one minute continuously. So you can see the air being drawn through the fluid. But anyway, everything's looking good here, so I'm gonna start squeezing for a minute. Now, if you accidentally suck coolant out of the tank or out of the radiator, you'll see that level starting to go up. And if that happens, then you have to start again, to be honest. You have to wash out the tool and you have to dispose of the liquid. So as you can see, the leak tester fluid stayed blue during my test. So that means the head gasket's okay. And there's no combustion gases getting into the coolant, which is a good indication that everything's fine there. But just to show you what happens to the fluid when it encounters combustion gases, we can hold it near the exhaust here and give it a few pumps and you'll see the color change on the fluid. So this is what would happen if you had a leaking head gasket or a cracked cylinder head. The combustion gases would be getting into that fluid and causing it to turn yellow like this. Okay, so that's all there is to it really. That's how to do a combustion leak test on your engine. Hopefully that will help you diagnose your leaking head gasket or your damaged cylinder head or whatever your problem is. If it did, then please give me a thumbs up. And if you enjoyed the video, then please consider subscribing and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye for now.